Hi guys, welcome back. I'm gonna get this shared really quickly and get my face prepped. And we have, I feel like I haven't been on here, honestly, it's been almost like a week, I feel like, since I've been on here. I don't know if it's truly been that long, but that's what it feels like. Um, so, when you hop on, say hello, let me know you're here, hit the share button, let me know where you're watching from, all the, all the usual, hey Annabelle. Um, and you guys, I'm not gonna lie, today's kind of been an off day for me, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, get on, hey Olivia, and do, like, simple makeup, and blah, 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 and I was like, you know what, no, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna do makeup. Um, the only thing I can't do tonight, and this is, you know, for no one's fault but my own, um, is lips. So, I went to the beach. Hey, Tara. Um, from Maryland. So cool. Oh, so jealous. So, we went to the beach this weekend, and you guys, I don't know what I did. I am Indian. I have like an eighth Indian in me. I tan very well, obviously. Um, but for some reason, I fried my lips. Hey, Karen from Texas. Hey, Chelsea. Um, I fried my lips. And so they are actually on the mend and they look so good right now compared to what they have been. Um, they were completely blistered. The bottom lip was completely blistered. So I cannot put lip products on them right now. I am, um, lathering them in Carmex because it is medicated and they look so much better than they have been. So yeah, you know, I can't escape anything, any kind of drama happening to me. It literally is the story of my life. So I was on a training call last night and we were talking about liquid shadows because these three are back in stock, you guys. And I'm going to try to turn them to where you can see them without a logo. Um, we can actually see the colors, but these three are back in stock. And I was like, you know what? Why don't we just use them? I think it's going to be super pretty. Um, it's okay. It happens. I am super sensitive. I don't know if I had something on them and I'm wondering if maybe the sun like, or it amplified the sun. I don't know what it did, but y'all, my lip Saturday morning, I could not, or no, Sunday morning, I couldn't move it. It hurt so bad. Hey B, I'm good. How are you? Um, it hurts so bad. And so I'm like, you know what? I can't catch a break. If y'all have followed me for like at least a year, y'all know I had a really bad allergic reaction that lasted like 30 months and my lips were completely destroyed. Well, I feel like, you know, we're back to square one. We're back to square one. So yes, these three are back. Um, this is, let's see, Willed um, exalted and reverent. So we're going to use those tonight. I'm super excited about them. I'm also going to be using the spray foundation in the shade cashmere. Um, this seems to, well, I was going to use, um, stick. Would you guys rather see stick foundation or spray foundation? You guys tell me either way. I'm going to go in with the mattifying face primer that has like lash glue all over it. Um, it is well loved. I actually got a new one in the mail today. So when I run out, I will have a backup. Super excited about that. But yeah, I um, have kind of been in a funk today. And so I was gonna get on here and do like a quick base face, just like a quick hydrated mama on the go makeup routine. Um, and then I was like, meh, let's go full glam. So if y'all want to see a full, like full coverage, quick mama on the go makeup routine, we can totally do that too. You guys let me know. Um, we're going to talk about some sales that are going on. There's so much, you guys. There's so much. So, for starters, we'll start with makeup. You guys know Palette 6 is back in stock, and it's only available in this month's kudos. So, if you did not get your hands on this palette, it's only available in this month's kudos, which is going to be the palette of your choice. Um, you can do a custom one or that one. You're going to get a, a mascara and a bag for 72 two seventy, And then if you want to add on the limited edition um, liquid liner, it's going to bump it up to 83. You can add on a liquid, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, and get free shipping. Let me see. Yay, Ashley, so excited. You guys, Pink Lily launched fall this morning and I am like, oh, so, so pretty. So I think honestly, my code might say July 15. It's totally August 15, you guys. Um, I can't keep up with the months changing and yeah, so if you guys shop, make sure you use my exclusive link for um, Pink Lily. All right, stick, stick, spray, 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 spray. All right, so spray is the 
winner. Hi guys. Hey Jessica. Hey Kristen. How do you earn this sleeping mask? It is a um, presenter exclusive. So you'll have to reach out to your upline. And if you are in my downline, you have questions, send me a personal message. All right. Um, da -da 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 -da. I swear you're always at the beach. I am always at the beach. <laughs> so one more sale I want to tell you guys about why I have it on my mind um, is Top Fox. If y'all have not seen me like blowing up my social media with Top Fox, um, you ain't been on social media. So you guys know I'm a, like a huge fan. These are like y'all. These are my beach glasses. They're my pool glasses. Um, they have been dropped so many times. They are like my tried and true. So these are the Chloe's. And then I just ordered, and I have these in um, pink too. And then I just ordered these, you guys. I am here for these glasses, okay? I love them so much. They fit so well. They do have a faded lens on them. So when you look out of the bottom, it's actually pretty clear. And then you've got still the UV sun protection up here, which I'm a huge fan of. So right now with my exclusive link that's in the description of this video, using code SUMMER2020, you will be able to um, save 25% on one pair, 35% on two pairs, or 50% if you grab three pairs. So don't miss out, you guys. This is like once a year they do this. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you go grab um, your sunglasses. If you've been wanting any, this is the time, okay? It is the time to make it happen. So don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. All right, so we're going to go in with the spray foundation. That is the winner. Also, you guys, this t-shirt is so cute and so comfy. It says, um, here comes a roller skater. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, but you guys, it, it can be tied. It can be tucked. It is literally like oversized. So comfy. So cute. It's from Anne with an e-boutique. Love her. You can use my code SID15 to save on her website. Um, oh gosh, what else? There's literally so much going on. So, we're going to go in with the spray foundation in the shade uh, cashmere. This is my tan girl shade. I do little baby sprays. This foundation, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, it does kind of make a mess. Um, let's not eat it. So definitely just be cautious of that when you are using it. Um, that's why I moved my laptop just now because I always end up spraying it on my laptop, but a quick little damp rag will get it right up. Um, if you get it on anything or a makeup wipe our makeup remover, really anything super, super easy to clean up. So make sure when you hop on, you hit the share button, say hello, all the good things. Um, we are using, like I said, the spray foundation in the shade cashmere. So you can see right here, crazy good coverage, crazy, crazy good coverage. This is my tan shade. Um, y'all know I have been like on the go in the sun all the time. If I'm not at the pool, I'm at the beach. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I honestly haven't been to the beach that much. This is um, this is honestly just the third time I've been. Um, well, fourth time, I guess, this summer. Um, so, and we were only there for a, not even a whole day. Um, we went to a local beach that you can actually drive your car out onto, which in the South, there's really not many of those. Um, if you can find one, take advantage of it, but there is one near Wilmington at Fort Fisher where you can actually drive your trucks and Jeeps and all sorts of things out onto the sand and just unload. And that's what we did. And it was so nice, um, because we didn't have to haul anything. There was nothing like to haul, no chairs, no nothing, um, made life super, super easy. But that is what we did this weekend. Usually we go and stay at like a normal beach, but this time we just switched it up a little bit. So this is the spray foundation in the shade Cashmere. So you can see we are completely evenly covered. We have good coverage. I'm like starting to look like a new human. Now, if you wanna amp up your coverage a little bit, you totally can. Um, I literally do baby sprays of this, you guys. You don't need much. This spray foundation will last you forever. So if you need to be color matched, all I need for you to do is send me a recent picture of yourself and the sooner the better because shades are starting to sell out again. Um, and I want to make sure that we're able to get you in your shade. So, I just added a little bit more where I felt like I needed a little bit more coverage. This is the shade Cashmere. You guys, I am, I don't know that camera really shows you guys, but I am actually super tan. Um, so, I think sometimes this light kind of drowns me out. Um, why is it? 
Oh, I guess it's the way like the wrinkle is. Um, so I am the shade cashmere, usually satin, but your girl has some sun. So make sure when you guys say um or hop on, you say hey, let me know you're here. My nails are in desperate need of some TLC, like so bad. So we're gonna go in with the stick foundation in the shade velour. Now, y'all know I prefer this over concealer all day, every day. Okay. All day, every day, even if you are somebody who just wants concealer in your life and you don't want, you know, a full face of makeup or something like that, you can grab the stick foundation and pop it on with your BB cream just underneath your eyes and cover those dark circles and still get super light coverage on the rest of your face. I prefer the stick foundation over our concealer. I have said it time and time again, it is my favorite way to conceal. I think it looks effortless and flawless and hydrated and healthy and brightening. I think it's so, so good. Hey, Colleen, it does. Cashmere is the perfect shade for me right now. Um, and my cashmere liquid touch is almost gone and I didn't realize it. So I'm gonna have to order some more of that. So on the days that I use Liquid Touch, I'm just gonna have to use satin, um, which y'all know I'm Liquid Touch tried and true. And if you guys want Liquid Touch, we have every shade of Liquid Touch in stock. I did check before I hopped on here um, to see what we had in stock. And then today's um, eyeshadow, all of these are gonna be in stock as well. And I actually meant to link it for you guys in the comments and pin it. Um, so I'll do that here in a second. So. We've got the spray foundation in the shade cashmere, and then we've got the stick foundation as concealer in the shade velour up underneath my eyes. So now what I'm gonna do is go in with the Behold Translucent, oh, don't turn, it's gonna make a mess. I forgot I traveled. Um, the Behold Translucent Setting Powder, you guys, it is so good. I popped out the entire top of mine. Um, honestly, I don't recommend it. It makes a world of a mess. I need to exfoliate my lips, Amy. Girl, you have Rilla Pixel later, don't you? It is one of the best ones. And you guys, once I have my lips healed again, um, I will definitely be exfoliating them because they will need it. Usually after sun exposure, I try to do it. Um, but because they blistered, I am trying to get this out of the lid. Sorry, I'm not trying to be annoying. Um, because they blistered so bad, I and literally not touching them with anything, but like Carmex. So um, I'm going in, this is a damp sponge. This is from Real Techniques. You guys know I am a tried and true Real Techniques fan. Um, they are one of the best brands to me when it comes to tools. Um, a lot of their specialty tools are just so, so good. Like the sponges, I don't think you can beat their sponges. Um, I used the Eco Tools one for a while and I liked it, but I always go back to this one. Always, always, always go back to these. Um, I have literally a ton of them just laying around, um, different colors, all sorts of stuff. I love them so freaking much. All right. So I'm going to pop some on my eyes and then on the rest of my face just to make sure. Now, if you feel, oh my God, it's so good. You guys, if y'all have not tried our lip exfoliator, y'all are missing out. It is Shea and Sugar. First off, it tastes so good, but it is so gentle on your lips, yet rough enough to get all the dead skin off. And it doesn't really have a smell, but man, it tastes so good. You guys, it is seriously one of the best. I believe it's like 21 bucks, and it is literally the best $21 you're ever going to spend. It is so stinking good. <laughs> Thank you. G girl, they are like so rough. <laughs> they are so rough. Um, now, granted, I have them like loaded down with Carmex, and my top one actually did not get affected at all. It's just my lower. Um, you know, I honestly, my boyfriend looked at me. He's like, you look like you got your lips done. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, they're swollen. They are swollen. So, all right, so that is the um, translucent setting powder. Now, if you like this coverage and you feel like you don't need any extra coverage, you could set your entire face. Oh, my gosh. I literally made it like the world's largest mess. You can set your entire face with the Behold um, Translucent Setting Powder, which a ton of people do. Um, and then you're not gonna have like crazy, crazy coverage. You're not gonna have extra powdery feelings or anything like that if you're not a fan of pressed powder. However, I am a huge fan. I got spray foundation on my vanity and I just wanna wipe it up. So I use the um, liquid makeup. Remember you guys, works like a dream to clean your vanity. 
like I also am a big fan of Clorox wipes um, but I do this to get like the instant stuff off so I don't get it all over my clothes and things like that um, thank you I love mustard mustard is actually like when I got this in the mail you guys I was like living for it because I'm so ready for fall like so ready for fall it's not even funny which is so weird because I'm such a summer girl um but I'm ready y'all I'm ready all right so we're gonna go in with the pressed powder foundation in the shade satin this is gonna give us a little bit more coverage um and yesterday if y'all missed my Instagram stories I actually did a really long skincare overhaul yesterday on my skin where we went in and we used the um brightening mask the uh, brightening mask, exfoliating mask, and hydrating mask are all back in stock, you guys. So if y'all have been wanting to try them, definitely, definitely send me a message. The hydrating mask can actually be worn under makeup. So it's not something that has to be washed off. It actually is a mask that you can leave on. So if you are super, super dry, unlike me, um, you can actually leave that on underneath your makeup and you are going to love it. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. I know. I'm so excited for you too. It was so pretty. We used it on a live. Um, you saw it, I believe. I think you were on there. All right, we're going to bronze really quick. I'm going to use Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Malibu. It is sold out, you guys. Don't hate me. But um, if you're wanting a bronzer, you're going to grab the pressed powder in the shade Twill. Okay? So, I feel like my lips almost look bigger. I mean, I know they're swollen, but with the Carmex on them, I feel like they look huge. Which, I guess, is not a bad thing. Um... All right, so I am bronzing with a Morphe E4 brush. Y'all know this is my jam. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Like I said, if you need to be color matched for foundation or anything, shoot me a message. All I need is a recent selfie of you in order to get that. So I love bronzer, you guys. It's one of like my all-time favorite things. So I always put it all over and on my nose. Really no rhyme or reason um, or how I do it. Y'all, I love those new sunglasses. I think they're absolutely freaking beautiful. I'm so excited about them. All right, I'm going in with the Tapered Blusher Brush. This is a unique brush, and I'm going in with the Blush Supple. It is literally, you guys, oh, so good. So, so good. And I do wear this year-round. Um, I stay tan year-round. I spray tan a lot in the winter, and so it just it still looks so, so good. Um, all right, and now I'm going to buff out everything this is a real techniques brush once again this is the duo fiber face brush and i love this brush to blend out my face i got it at walgreens i have tried and tried and tried and tried to get this linked on like to know it you guys and i cannot find a retailer through like to know it in the u.s that has it so i am still trying to get it work just bear with me bear with me i got a lot of other brushes linked just not that exact one drives me nuts I don't know why I can't link from Walgreens but whatever all right so let's do this eyeshadow I'm super excited about this you guys if y'all have never used the liquid shadows for one you're missing out um they are something that is definitely trending right now they've been trending for a while I believe Stila might have been the first brand to actually launch a really good one um we have launched three different ones actually we originally launched if y'all remember let me grab them oh I'll just grab one of each. Um, we launched these in the Beachfront collection. And then that Christmas, we launched some limited edition liquid shadows as well. And then these came out, you guys. And I swear, like, these were good. This was better. And these are freaking fantastic, okay? Like, they definitely took the time to make these absolutely fantastic. And hey, Natalie. I know it's been a couple days since I've been on here. I'm like, I miss everybody. Um, So... They literally nailed it, you guys. They're some of my favorite eyeshadows. I love them so much. And we actually talked about these on my um, live training last night. So I was like, you know what? We're going to use them. Karen, we're going to use these. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to go in with the shade Willed. Now, here's the kicker with these. They are freaking great. And they are super, super pigmented. They will not crease. They are going to last all dang day. And the best part is... They come off super easy when you're ready to wash your face. They're not something that's going to be like glued to your face. And then when you go to take them off at night, like you can't get it off your face. So you're going to be able to get them off your face, which is a huge plus to me. Um, but once you put them on, work with them. Put them where you want it. Blend it out. Because once they dry, they are literally not going to move. Okay. So what we're going to do, and everybody does this totally differently. Um, I adapted the way that I do it because I had lash extensions when these came out. And so I kind of like 
did it a little differently, if you will. Um, just to, whoops, there goes my launch spray. Um, just to protect my lash extension. So, I do it a little differently than some people, but everybody, you know, to each their own. So, you can go in with this directly on your lid and then blend it out. I go in with the fluffy crease brush, okay? So, I go in with Unique's fluffy crease brush, literally the best $18 you will ever spend, okay? Like ever. So, I pick it up directly from the wand and then I go in to that outer corner. And now remember, these are liquids. So if you're not used to having a liquid shadow on your face, this is going to be weird feeling to you. So don't fret if it feels super, super cold or anything like that. It is totally normal, okay? Totally normal. And they are a little bit more intimidating because they are crazy pigmented, okay? But work with them. What I'm also gonna do is grab our blending brush and have it on standby as well. So this is, like I said, the fluffy crease brush and we're gonna go back and forth and buff that out. Okay, super, super easy. Keeping the majority of that pigment on the outer corner. I'm gonna go in, there's nothing on this brush. Okay, nothing on this brush. And you can also use your fingers to do this. It's like literally a foolproof easy eyeshadow, okay? You can use, like I said, you can use a fluffy crease brush, you can use your finger, you can use a blending brush to buff out the edges. There's so many ways to use these that make them so, so easy. So, my eyes are very old and wrinkly, and my eyes water from allergies. Yes, B, yes, and they're so easy to use. I think a lot of people get intimidated because they're like, oh my God, liquid eyeshadows. Like, I can't do liquid liner. I'm definitely not gonna be able to do a liquid shadow. I promise you are going to be able to do this. So, once again, you're gonna, and when you do this, you're gonna be like, oh God, oh God, this is terrible. Cause guess what? I thought the same thing. When these came out, I had never used a liquid shadow, but for a lid topper, just to pop like a shimmer in the center of my eye. Um, if you're familiar with Stila's liquid shadows, they are super, super uh, shimmery and pigmented. And they, I, I would pop some on my lid and that was it. I never did all this. So I had to learn just like you guys are learning with these. I've never used anything um, that was like this dark or this pigmented um, in a liquid shadow or I've never done an entire eye look with just liquid shadows either. So it is something that I myself had to learn too. So if I can learn it, you can learn it, I promise. This is the shade Willed. So this is a matte, almost like a brick red shade. You guys, it is stunning, okay? It is so pretty and it can be worn by itself. It can be worn with other colors like we're gonna use here in a minute. So freaking beautiful, I love it so much. So once again, we're gonna go in, I'm sliding out of my chair with the blending brush and buff out. Yes, yes, girl. I am team fluffy crease brush. I love the fluffy crease brushes so much. Hey, Rachel, I'm good, how are you? So, so good, and then I just buff out with this. Um, What is this called? Blending brush, blending brush. It's not like I, you know, don't work for the company or anything. Can't remember anything. All right, so I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more. I haven't dipped this back into that at all. I'm just laying it back down. And then I, don't, I go to do this all the time. It's liquid, it's clearly not going anywhere. And then you can um, keep building it up if you want to. If you notice one eye is a little lighter than the other, you can go in and add a little bit. I know it's crazy. Such a crazy school year for everyone. Everyone involved, it's nuts. All right, so I'm picking up just a little bit more and popping it on. And you guys, I, I just bit my tongue, oh gosh. I take things to another level. Um, which if you've watched me for any period of time, you guys know, like I'm super OCD about blending. I don't stop until I'm like 110% happy. Um, you can totally do this with your finger and just have a light application of this color and not take it this far like I did, but. Yeah, you know, that's what I do. That's what I do here. All right, so we're gonna keep this out because we're gonna use this on our lower lashes here in a minute. Um, but what I do wanna use is a mirror really quick. Oh, my poor lips, God bless them. Um, tonight's lip look is brought to you by Carmex. 
can't go wrong with a card mix though. I swear everybody needs it in their house. Um, all right. So we are actually super blended, super, super pretty. And then I'm just gonna take the fluffy, no, this is actually the blending brush, and I'm just gonna soften those edges just to make sure we've got no harsh lines, nothing crazy happening. All right, now what we're gonna do, I pulled out two fluffy crease brushes, put that one back. Now we're gonna go in with Exalted. Exalted is so beautiful, you guys. And I actually might stop here. I was gonna go in with Reverent. You guys have seen Reverent so many times. I've used Reverent over and over again. I've used it with press shadows. I've used it by itself. I've used it with other liquid shadows. So I might still use it, but Ego, or not Egotistical, Exalted is so pretty. So you can put this one on, remember, directly like this, or you can grab the cream shadow brush, which is stained, um, which is what I'm going to do. I just feel like I have a little bit more control over it, and it's also not as heavy of a layer on this brush either, and I feel like I can really maneuver the product a little bit better. Um, not a huge deal. You can also use your finger to do this. Your fingers are actually one of the best tools that God has ever given us in the makeup industry, um, but if you have super long nails like I do, it makes it really difficult to kind of get in there and, and do the dang thing. Um, so I'm going to just press this in and notice, I, I will say, I think using the brushes, I use less product. Um, so it's going to make these last a little longer. So I do think that this brush is fantastic. If you're going to grab these, um, so, so good. Oh, I said I was going to link it and I never linked it in the comments. I'll get it done for you. Hey, Allie. Yes, I have used, um, willed that color on my lips before you guys. So beautiful so beautiful very similar to successful splash liquid lipstick if you guys are familiar with that shade all right and then i just shimmy up in that crease just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines or anything like that like i said once these dry they are going to stay um so oh goodness let me grab my laptop and um post this link for you guys really quick it's going to be a direct shopping link to the three liquid eyeshadows as well as a mascara so you're going to get an entire eye look um with this link so let me actually get that linked for you guys very quickly maybe it'll let me maybe it won't here we go there we go all right once it pops up on my screen i will pin it for you guys maybe there it goes all right, so that is the shopping link to the eye look, okay? So it's going to be all three liquid shadows. It's gonna be Reverent, Exalted, and Willed. I got it in my lashes, got it in my lashes. I've been so good about not getting into my lashes. Um, super, super pretty. Now I love this. It is just such a beautiful coral shade. So, so pretty. And I'm just adding just a tad bit more near my lash line, not the end of the world because we are gonna use eyeliner today. We're gonna, we're just gonna do all the things tonight. Okay, all right. Let me get some water, hydrate. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go in with a little bit of Reverent. Now, you can top your entire eye look with Reverent. You can just pop it in the center, whatever you prefer. Um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey, Crestlin, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna tell you something, I got tired of being like sad and mopey. I, and I have no reason to be sad and mopey. You know, sometimes you just, we're women and we have hormones and they suck. And then some days you're just like, I was so productive all day. And then all of a sudden it was like, meh. I wanna sit on the couch and eat cupcakes and cannolis. This is ex actually verbatim what I texted Michaela. I wanna lay on my couch and eat cupcakes and cannolis and watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Then I realized the bakery that I get the cannolis from closed in 10 minutes and I got really mad. Um, so yeah, it was great. All right, so what I'm gonna do is grab a little, actually, you know what? I was gonna pop this just right here. Oh my word. You guys, reverent on top of exalt. Can, do y'all see that brightness that we have going on? What I'm gonna do is just wipe that brush off and then soften that right there. Like, oh my word, at that shine. This is why people, this is why Reverent sells out every single time it's restocked. 
That is why. That is literally from heaven. Oh my God, I'm sure. I, I already told pretty much everybody. If my, okay, I have weird cravings, you guys. I've never been pregnant, but I crave weird stuff. Um, I'll go on like a mayonnaise kick. I will go on a cupcake kick and I'm not a, like, I prefer salt over sweet. Um, so when I crave cupcakes, it's just the weirdest thing, but I'm telling y'all like I, oh, today's just one of those days. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the cream shadow brush and I'm popping reverent in that inner corner and then just pressing it outwards to kind of diffuse it. So the majority of that product is in that inner corner and then I wipe my brush off and then I just kind of shimmy everything together and remember the shade underneath has already dried so you're really diffusing that reverent out it's almost doing like a pink and white ombre on your nails if you've ever had that done they kind of diffuse um the colors so freaking beautiful so beautiful all right so now what i'm gonna do is just spot clean the fluffy crease brush and do a little feather right there for blending purposes. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's so, so pretty. And you could build up Reverent if you wanted to make it brighter. Um, but if you were to wear Reverent by itself, you guys, I'm telling you, this one is my number one seller out of all of the colors. I mean, the the payoff is insane. That's one swipe. Well, technically two, because I made two lines side by side and blended them together. But so freaking beautiful by itself. Absolutely beautiful. And I felt so naked. I am a fan of just bronzer, man. I, I'm a huge fan of just bronzer. All right. What I'm going to do is grab my little baby blender brush. Y'all know I have no other name for it but that. Um, and then we're going to go in and grab this right here. And I also have an exciting, if y'all stay on for a little longer, I'm offering something that I think some of you are going to be really excited about. I swear when I put this on, it reminds me of my allergic reaction that I had when I had my lash extensions because my eyes were so red and so swollen, like so bad. All right, so look, we just blended that out and what it does is it turns into a powder and it dries. It's literally so, so good. So that is the shade Willed that we did just there. Just there, just then, just there, whatever. All right, I'm gonna go in with the pencil liner in the shade Perfect and do my waterline. So pretty, so pretty. Most people do all this when they wake up in the morning, but you, but you do you. <laughs> Don't, I will. You know me, Jeremy. I'm, I'm pretty spontaneous. Pretty spontaneous. All right. So we did our upper and our lowers, super, super pretty. This is the eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which is our black. Um, it's it's my favorite. All right, we're going in with brow liner in the shade Blonde. You guys, they restocked brunette and black, or maybe they're called medium and dark. I have no idea, but the two darker shades, they have restocked, they are on the website. So if you've been wanting this in your shade, go grab it. Um, like I said, I think a lot of people can actually wear the Blonde because once you apply just a little bit more pressure, you can get a darker color payoff. And I'm blonde, but my natural hair color is still fairly dark. It's actually really dark. Um, so I can still wear blonde and I just put a little bit more pressure on. And I could wear the medium as well. Um, I just like the way that the blonde tone looks. I think it's really pretty. I'm about to eat dinner. If you and your man want to grab a drink, let me know. We can catch the Braves game. Last time you watched a Braves game, we were at the John Langston concert. Well, not last time you watched one because you've watched one since I have, but it was the last Braves game that I remember being played. All right, we're gonna brush upward and we are going to 
underline. So fun fact, y'all have seen Grace get on here. That's Grace's boyfriend. She's the one who makes a lot of my vinyl shirts and cups. Um, we were at a concert. It's actually where I met them. And we were at a John Langston concert last October. And Jeremy wears his Atlanta Braves jersey and we are at like a country bar okay so grace is dressed for the occasion super cute i'm in stilettos and jeremy's in a rave jersey literally hysterical um john langston's manager jd comes out and grabs jeremy and takes him backstage with all the artists to watch the braves game pretty comical we were all just in shock it was so funny i love my brow pencil i mean i love my brow palette y'all know i used to only use my brow palette but I'm telling you, oh, so freaking good. I love it. And it's only $19, so it's such a good deal. Such a good deal. All right, what I'm going to do now is go in with the limited edition felt tip liner from this month's kudos. You guys, listen, I have not personally, we're just going to throw that in there. I have not personally used this yet. My best friend Erin has used it, loves it. Everybody that I know, what happened was it was in a limited edition bundle for Black Friday, and I swore I ordered it. And my order came and I got dip and draw. And I look back at my order and dang if I didn't order dip and draw. So, um, you know, operator error on my part. So I'm super glad that I'm able to have it now. Um, you guys know I've, I'm a big fan of dip and draw. And then I started using Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner because I ran out of dip and draw and that's all I had. And so now I'm really excited to have this. It's supposed to be better than Stila, which I'm a makeup snob. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I've also never used it. It reminds me a lot of the, um, tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Instant, um, instant thought is if you compare it to the Stila, Stila is the little one. Look at how much longer, like, oh girl, I'm here for that. I'm here for it. All right. Which cap goes on which? This is Stila. Is this Stila? Yeah, okay, that's deal. All right, so we're gonna pop on. This is the Moodstruck Liquid Eyeliner. My hope is that they're gonna bring this into the core collection because it's real good from what I have heard. But I'm a big fan of felt tip liners. So I don't like brush tips, they fray. Um, I'm a big felt tip liner fan. So here we go. Holy crap on a cracker, you guys. This is magical. I'm actually shaking right now because my sugar is super low because I have not eaten. Um, so if I've jacked this up, well, it's not going to shock me. And no, I'm not diabetic, um, but my sugar will plummet very quickly. So what I'm going to do is grab this little brush right here. Kind of got a little carried away. I just now that's actually good to know you could smudge this before it dries and it actually is it would be really pretty it kind of smudged a little spot right there um it would actually be really pretty and I'm obsessed with how long this felt tip is because you can really see I feel like so much better because your wand isn't necessarily like crazy close to your eye um and you can lay down the felt tip. You guys, this is only available in this month's kudos. Like this is the only way you can grab this liner and it makes winged liner so easy, so easy. And remember, even if you are horrible at winged liner, you can use my tape trick. And also remember you guys, I can't see. So, I'm like blind as a bat if y'all don't know this about me. Um, I literally am blind as a bat. I have to have my glasses to see. So, I don't wear my, I, I can't wear contacts. They don't fit my eyes. It's a disaster. Um, so, 
In order to do winged liner, it's usually a struggle. So if you are terrible at winged liner, just know you're not alone. Stop drinking water, it drops faster. I didn't know that. I guess you're flushing your system, stupid me. I get thirsty, man. Oh, I'm a disaster, y'all know. All right, so super sharp wings on both sides. One's a little larger than the other. That's usually how it works in my book. This one looks fantastic, and this one looks like a little too thick, but it's okay. Actually, I'm gonna try to thicken up this. Y'all know this is usually a disaster when I do this. Okay, I thickened that one up just a bit, so they're kind of a little bit more even. All right. That's fine. Super thick wings. We're going to have lashes. So you guys, I'm a huge, huge fan of this, this magical pen. Um, all right. What I am going to do is grab Enthralled from Palette 6. This one right here. I just want to darken my lower lash line just a little bit. Um, and kind of press it into that liquid shadow. I feel like it needs just a little bit more of a shadow now that we've got that bold wing up top. If we didn't have the bold wing, see how it darkens it just a little bit? We literally made just the easiest um, easiest change. Look at that. Just like soft but it gives us a little bit more just kind of structure on that lower lash line. And we did nothing but shimmy a light brown, this one right here, into that. I, I think it's so pretty. I think we can go darker. Um, we can always do, um, no, I did not shake that pen at all. I pulled it fresh out of the box and used it. So it is brand new. Um, I'm sure that the more that you use it, you would have to shake it a little bit, but it does not shake. Um, I did try it after I closed it. It does not shake like my Stila pen does. Um, so I think it, like, I truly think it might be better. I mean, that's me shaking. Let me, sh sh well, I have bracelets on everywhere. There's that one. And then the Stila, well, I have bracelets on. But you can hear that. This one, there's nothing to do that in. I think it's literally a magical pen. I don't know. I really don't know what else to say about it. Yes, when shirt. <gasps> You're welcome. I'm glad I could. Thanks for the water tip, though. That's good to know. Um, because I'm really bad about that. Like, I'll be like, well, I don't have food right now, so I just chug a bunch of water. Well, that's stupid. I clearly shouldn't have been doing that the whole time. All right. Um, let's do, let's dust away excess powder. Y'all have no idea what to eat for dinner. No freaking clue. I hate, like, I honestly love being like living by myself sometimes, it's just nice to have your own space and to do what you want and you know, blah, 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 blah. But it's hard to cook for one person. Like I am a girl who loves veggies um, and it's hard to cook like a squash casserole or you know, stuff like that for one person. And I'm not a big leftover fan, although my squash casserole is pretty good leftover, but um, it, it's hard. And so I eat out a lot. But I'm so tired of eating out and I'm so tired of eating like, excuse my French, half-ass meals. I'm just over it. I'm over it. And so I'm just, I feel like I need to travel the world for two weeks and just go try a bunch of new food and like pray that something rubs off on me that I can do for one person. All right. So now what I'm going to do is grab just a little bit of Opaline. I just want a little bit, not a whole lot because my eye look is already so pink. I kind of want to keep that trend. So just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with um, pearly primarily to give us a good rosy highlight. Super, super pretty. And then we're going to grab our liner shader brush, which is a unique brush. It's a staple in my opinion. And we're going to highlight the brow bone. Like that. Super pretty. We would spray our face, but we're going to skip that step because I have no plans. Roasted veggies. I love roasted okra and onions, you guys, um, but I can't eat it all. 
I can't eat. I feel like once I open my okra, because I, I buy the organic okra, um, once I open it, then I feel like I got to cook it all because it's going to go bad. And I don't want to eat the same thing two days in a row. It literally, y'all, I'm literally the worst. Literally the worst. But I do like roasted okra and onions. Love it so much. Um, so when I cook a portion control and freeze in containers. I wish, I wish I could do reheated meals, you guys. Which I say that. And I'm a big fan of pizza rolls and corn dogs. Um, which are technically reheated. Um, but when it comes to cook stuff. And I also don't like chicken. It would help if I took my goalies. What would help, actually. Um... Y'all, I swear, like, biggest operator error. Um, I I don't eat chicken. I don't eat chicken. So, and I'm, I'm more of a pescatarian, if you will. Um, I prefer fish over, like, any type of meat. I'm not a huge meat person. I do two of those, by the way. Um, so good. Curb your appetite. You don't snack. Freaking awesome. Um, mascara. So, it's hard, um, but I'm going to get back on. I'm going to do a little 15-day, not a full-blown clean eating, but kind of like a 15-day refresh. All right, Sydney, <laughs> your mascara is disgusting. Y'all, we're going to throw her away. We're going to get a new Epic. Um, so, yeah, I, um, oh, gosh, I, um, I'm doing like a mini- clean eating thing, it's like 15 days. And instead of full blown clean eating where you do two shakes a day and then one real meal a day and you eat super, super clean, I'm just doing one shake for 15 days and then making minor diet changes. Um, and so hopefully that'll inspire me to, you know, cook. <laughs> like cook. It's just, it's hard when it's just you. It's very hard. All right. So, um, and if you guys live alone or have ever lived alone, y'all know the struggle. And if you like leftovers, um, that's fantastic. I don't. <laughs> I hate them. I hate microwaved food. It's just not my thing. Um, which, I mean, I microwave pizza rolls. Love me pizza roll. You know, there's, there's that guilty pleasure every now and then that's just, like, so good. And mine's pizza rolls. Frozen zucchini sprout. Okay. Okay, so, you know what? That reminds me. I do have a recipe that I created on my own. I got zucchini noodles from the organic um, section. Well, I guess technically it was more of like the vegan section. And um, they were pre-done because I don't have a zucchini noodle maker. Um, and so, I got those because I don't like carbs. Carbs terrify me, you guys, for any of you who don't know, I mentally struggled with my weight. I've never been overweight, um, according to my doctors. But, you know, when you've got people down your throat all the time telling you that you've gained weight and you need to go to the gym and nah, 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 you get so in your head about it. And so, unfortunately, a lot of that has stuck with me. But it's probably a good thing, you know, because I make, you know, I don't eat rolls when I sit down at, you know, Texas Roadhouse anymore, which is really sad. Granted, I haven't been to a Texas roadhouse in a long time, but I don't eat pasta like I used to. So I, you know, it did result in healthier choices for sure. Um, but I don't eat pasta. So I eat veggie pasta or I will eat um, lentil pasta, pasta that's made out of anything but flour. Um, so I, I got zucchini noodles for the first time, never had them. And I got shrimp, fresh shrimp. And I sauteed my shrimp in with a garlic clove and some um, onion powder, and what else did I put in there? Olive oil. And then I added my zucchini noodles and put them in there. And then what I did, you guys, is I got some basil pesto from the DIY pizza section on the pasta aisle. And I did like a half a tablespoon of that with like one or two tablespoons of four cheese Alfredo sauce. Whole my word, it was so good was so good um and it's technically not um clean eating approved because of the four cheese stuff but it is keto um it is keto and it's technically not um uh, vegan either because of the milk in the pasta sauce but it's all around a pretty decent meal put shrimp with fresh lemon yes i'm a big shrimp fan i love shrimp i eat a whole lot of fish a whole lot of fish um but I like expensive fish, 
like swordfish. And mahi, it's my favorite. Mahi is my fave. And I love swordfish. Love swordfish. Um, I do pizza rolls in the toaster oven. Yes. Okay. Well, if I had a toaster oven, I would do them in the toaster oven. And if I had the patience to put them in the real oven, I would put them in the real oven. But I have neither. So, Amy, I saw that on a TikTok today. And I actually posted it on my stories. Um, Gordon Ramsay saw it on a girl's TikTok. She was talking about how she's making a healthy sandwich. And Gordon Ramsay had like a fit over it. He was like, oh my God, that is not a sandwich. That is not a healthy sandwich. Um, I love Gordon Ramsay. He's absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Love him to death. Um, but honestly, it looked good. And I was like, hmm, I'm not a big raw pepper fan, but I'd be willing to try it. Um, I also saw one of the girls I'm friends with. She's actually on my larger team. She made, she got little miniature peppers and cut the tops off of them and um, pulled the seeds out. And then stuff them with cheese cubes and um, summer sausage. And that was her lunch. So I was thinking, oh, what if I stuff them with cream cheese and like pepperoni? I'm a big pepperoni girl. Love pepperoni. Um, and like broiled them. Oh, man. So good. So good. All right. We're going to go in with lashes. We're going to go in with my faves. These are the um, A12s from Amazon. Tried and true, tried and true. I did not clean the glue off of this and I already have it completely coated. Well, that's okay. That's okay. That's how they get messed up. That's all right. All right, so we're gonna wait 30 seconds on the shot clock for this. Um, on a normal day, I would probably pair this lip with, or pair this eye look with uh, Well To Do um, if it were in stock or affluent even, but for Splash Liquid Lipsticks, I would go Subtle. Y'all know Subtle is like my jam. Um, I just can't put anything on the lips right now. So, um, I mean, I guess I could. I'm just not going to. I'd rather be safe than sorry and keep Carmex on them 24-7, 365 until they completely heal. So, um, that's the plan. I don't know. You can kind of see right there the blistered skin. Y'all, it's like gone down like 75%. It was bad. It was really bad. Uh, but, you know, I... Just use SPF, people, okay? Use SPF. Don't use any other magical voodoo that you find on your lips and go out into the sun. Use SPF. I use the Sun Bum Coconut. Tastes good. Smells good. It's SPF like 30 or 20 or something. I don't know. It's My lips don't burn. My lips don't burn with Carmex. They don't burn with, um, well, that's really all I use on my lips um, is Sun Bum and Carmex. But... I don't remember what I had on them, but I literally think that it magnified. Oh, it was my lip mask. That's what I had because I was in the car traveling and they were super, super dry. So I was like, I'll just pop on some lip mask. And I think I forgot that I had it on and I knew my lips were hydrated. So I was like, okay, cool. I've got stuff on my lips. No big deal. And I honestly think that the sun, like, or that that amplified the sun and it literally boiled my lips. I literally think that's what happened. Um, I've used it for, what, two weeks now, and I've loved it, and it's so good, and my lips have been in great shape, uh, but I don't recommend wearing it in the sun. Yeah, kind of like, you know, Accutane. It works great, but don't get in the sun because your skin will boil. Um, so, yeah, I honestly think that's kind of what happened. So, I'm a big SPF girl. Um, if you've known me for any period of time, you know I wear sunscreen like it's my job. So, I use the Sun Balm SPF. Lip balm is what I use on a normal day. Because, I mean, literally, guys, I am always in the sun. Y'all know that. Um, always in the sun. Oh, dear. Come on. Um, and I literally could not figure out. That's exactly what it was. That is exactly what it was. Um, I mean, I'm always in the sun. I was like, there's no way my lips are just going to burn like this. Like, I get your lips burn sometimes, for sure. They get a little sensitive, a little red, a little swollen. You know, it happens. But this was blistered, like real bad. Real bad. All right, so we're going to pop this lash on. I'm literally going nowhere. It's great. I love looking pretty just for myself. Um, I actually really do. It was funny because my boyfriend said something the other night about how he knows, like, girls, you know, they dress up for attention. And I was like... I dress up for my dang self. I do my makeup for my dang self. I, I mean, 
I don't, I honestly don't do it for attention. I do it because I've been in the makeup industry a long time. Um, but I think it's honestly a common misconception. Now, some people I'm sure do, don't get me wrong. Um, some people I'm sure do, but me, I'm like, oh, this is pretty. I want to wear it. Oh, my makeup's pretty. I want to wear it. I want to go somewhere now because my makeup looks good. It has nothing to do with, oh, let me go get some attention from some dude that I don't even know who probably tried to kill me. Yeah, no, I'm not about that life. I'm just about looking pretty for myself. You know, I'm all that really matters anyways, me and Jesus. So, all right, 30 seconds for this. And then we're going to be done, you guys. Um, like I said, I would, in a normal world, put on a lip combo. But your girl fried her lips off. So, we're going to pop this on. There, these lashes are just freaking phenomenal. Almost caved and order some, ordered some other lashes, you guys. But... I literally cannot, you can't beat the price on these and the quality. Like the fact that these are mink lashes for $15 for five pairs and they last like they do and they look as beautiful as they do. Like, uh-uh, no. And same with my Kiss lashes. Y'all know I'm a big Chiffon fan from Kiss. Huge advocate for them. Um, I love the Chiffon lashes and they're $7.99 at the CVS. And there is something in my eyeball. There we go. Now I can pin it down. Um, I just, I, I'm not, I would love to spend $25, $30 on a lash, but those, those days have sailed. I don't do that anymore. All right, now I've got a lash that is going into my eye. And I can't tell if it's a real one or a fake one. Got it. It was literally hanging out in my eyeball. And now my eyes gonna water and this lash isn't gonna wanna stick. Okay, super, super pretty. All right, you guys, we are done. If you have any questions or need to be color matched, shoot me a message, okay? Shoot me a message. All I need is a recent picture of yourself. Um, I love, honestly, how this turned out. I think it's so, so pretty, even though I have no lips on. I would love to have lips on. It would really finish this entire look off, um, but that's okay. So, remember, if y'all are just hopping on, we use these three liquid shadows tonight. So, so pretty. They look so beautiful together. They are pinned for you guys to grab them. Um, they will sell out mainly Reverent. Reverent, that lighter champagne color, will sell out. It sells out every single time it's restocked. So, Make sure you go grab that if you want it. Other than that, I'm going to hop off of here. If you have any questions, shoot me a message, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.